thank you as always. All right, Admiral, I think Korean's coming you. back after this. Uh, the House Ways and Means Committee yesterday released documents, their authenticity nowhere challenged. Uh, that included a July 2017 WhatsApp message sent Why he's by asking Hunter KJ Biden for... to Henry Zhao, a Chinese Communist Party official, which stated in its entirety, and I quote, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of He's hand, like, oh, and now means confirmed. tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other it. than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father, unquote. So just a couple of questions about this. First, does this not undermine uh, the president's claim during the 2020 campaign and the reaffirmations of that claim by his two press secretaries since then that he never once discussed his son's overseas business yep. dealings with him? No, and I'm not going to comment further. <laughs> no. I'm not, what do you mean, no? James, James, let me just, let me save you some breath. you, dude. Let me save, <laughs> let me save, you let serious? me save you some breath. If you're going to ask about this, I am not address. I don't. I know. There we go. We all knew I'd this like is what they would do. I am not going to address this issue from this podium. Yeah, I'm just not, not. going to do it. Right, so I'm not going to do it. My boss is getting thing. bribes from the CCP. I'm Thanks, not going to talk Have about that. Yeah. He's like, yoink. Okay. Did you see that? Uh, <laughs> Zeke, you want to kick us off? Yoink. Uh, Thanks for uh, You're in for it, KJP. Uh, uh, Hopefully. All right, we're going to get right back into this video, I promise, after I tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Imagine the confidence that comes with a retirement backed by a tangible, proven asset gold an asset that's not at the mercy of unpredictable market swings fend off concerns about economic downturns and let your wealth thrive with the timeless security of precious metals this month the first solid quarter ounce gold standard bullion coin ever issued with charles iii's image can be yours with your own qualifying gold ira or 401k rollover with fifty thousand dollars or higher you can't go wrong with noble gold investments so call noble gold investments at 877 646-5347 to get started or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com find the link in the description pin comment and if you call make sure to tell them drone tech sent you and remember there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind why uh, the president decided to I, i'm just not going to get into family discussion personal family discussion as you know, Hunter is his son. I'm just not going to get into it. Oh, okay. There you go. If Hunter Biden wasn't the president's son. Would he have invited someone who had just reached a plea agreement with federal prosecutors? Well, two a, days a couple of things. Again, that's his son. It's a he's a family member. It is not days. related to uh, to Hunter. I'm just not going to respond to it from here. Right. See, okay. she's I'm not going to answer anything. Okay. Well, I just called. She's just telling you that. Yeah. So, but I mean, so Kirby wouldn't answer. I'm here to not answer your questions. You could answer the question. I mean, not, not a reasonable question to ask whether the president of the United States was involved, as this message seems to suggest, in some sort of a coercive conversation for business dealing by a son. Is that something? <clears throat> if he wasn't, then maybe you should tell us. So that. here's the thing, I, and I appreciate the question. I believe my colleague uh, at the White House Council uh, has answered this question already. Has dealt with this. Has uh, uh, no. made it very clear. No. I just don't have anything to no share clear. outside of you haven't what, dealt what with my it. colleagues have shared. You just said you're not going to uh, answer. So it. I would refer you to him and the D and the DOJ. Oh. Just not going to comment oh. from here. Text message I will, all, what I can tell you is I know that my colleague has dealt with this. He, he uh, addressed this. <laughs> no, the he White didn't. House Council. I just don't have anything else to share. I just, I just answered the question. No, you did not answer the question. Yes or no, was the president involved in the shakedown attack? No, you didn't. Yes no, you didn't. Yes no, Stephen, I just answered the question. I just said, I just... This isn't, it's not up to you how I answer the question. I just answer the question by telling you my colleagues at the White House <laughs> I just Council answered the question by telling you I'm not going to answer it. And I would it. refer you to them. Okay. Eat that, peasant. That's what she said. Us what your colleague said from the White House Council so we have it. I would, I, would, I would refer you to them. <laughs> because he said nothing. She, she can't tell you. Your statements from that podium, you stated that the president Look at her face. By his She's so like the 2020 indignant. campaign that he never once discussed his son's overseas business dealings with his son. 
and you stood at that podium yeah. and you reaffirmed right. that. Do you stand by your reaffirmation? I, what I will say is nothing has changed. <laughs> nothing has changed. And yeah. I will leave it there. Anything else, I will refer you to the White House Counsel. She's going to run away I now. I just watch. answered the question. You, asked, you just asked me, do, does my statement change? I just told you nothing has changed. That's answering the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stephen. I'm calling on your colleague right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. To, to follow up on my colleague, is there anything that you can say with regard to this text message and what? It's the amazing they went this long into the press alleging. briefing to get to Was something so the important. President there right? or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the oh, White House Council. Oh. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. They have not addressed it. Green, have you spoken to the president about this? Have you asked him whether he was there with his Let's son on July 30th? Yeah. This is not a conversation that I've had with the president. Again, I would refer you to the White House Council. Do you plan to have that conversation no. with the president? No. No. Did the president <laughs> speak with the attorney general at all? I can't. I, I, I cannot say Unreal. Uh, if Un the president real. have had a conversation with the attorney general last night. What I can refer you to is the White House Counsel's Office as it relates to the uh, allegations. Uh, they've already All addressed I, this. The this only reason I'm up here is to skew propaganda and not answer Justice questions that actually mean something. If you don't want to speak to the White House Counsel's Office. And there was reporting earlier in the week that after the plea agreement was reached by Hunter Biden, that the president felt relieved that that part of it was behind him. Is that true? Can you speak to I can't to speak to that. Then? I cannot speak to the president's mindset. Again, I would refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. Get it. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, back to India, if we could. So <laughs> India is on a U.S. Back to India, because that's what matters. Uh, with China and Russia for failing Who to protect this? intellectual property. Um, with this push to get American business. American people just don't know how good it is. CEOs here today about that. I, I'm not going to get into. Uh, Half uh, the people in this room are owned by the CCP. The president has had, but I just laid out what, how or we at see least the future it as seems it relates to uh, profit margins, and, and I'll just leave it there. I'll take, I'll take one other question. What? Uh, and then I'm thanks. getting the hell out of here. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, I wanted to ask you if there is video of the president signing this executive order today, because we were wondering. I believe oh. there was digital content. <laughs> but taken of course, from, uh, that's the last. That guy. Order, and oh, so okay. Probably... So that that guy saved her from the actual questions, and then it ends on that. Are you kidding me? By testifying to Congress that David. <laughs> One guy. What do we get from all this? That our government, the media, most of our institutions are corrupted. Uh, they everything that they accuse their opponents of doing and being, they themselves are guilty of. That's why they're accusing because they just. I don't know if it's like a projection thing or uh, like a propaganda tactic to, uh, to defend themselves by just uh, accusing their opponents of doing that because then all their opponents can do is say, no, you're doing that, and it kind of breaks down, you know? Um, or if they just don't have the self-awareness to see what they are. And what we're seeing is that there's just corruption all throughout this uh, and that the people who are claiming to be you know, protectors of democracy, uh, warning about the actual threats, no, they are that threat. And they've proven it over and over again. In 2016, after Trump won, the government, the FBI, the media, they all worked together with, uh, to concoct because they knew. That's what, that's what Durham was just saying. They knew the Trump collusion thing was crap from the beginning. But they let it go because that was the insurance policy that Peter Strzok uh, talked about. We know these people were dedicated to torpedoing, torpedoing Trump. And so they attacked democracy. Okay, That's what they did by their own... Uh, standard. They attacked democracy because they, but they thought it was justified. They thought we're doing this for a good reason because Trump is so dangerous. We have to do this. Little did they know that they were becoming the very monster that they were afraid of because everything that they're worried about happening, they did. They did everything they could to, to torpedo and ruin Trump to the point they actually made the world a more dangerous place. I'll give you an example. When Trump warned about Germany being too reliant on Russia and the EU being too reliant on the U.S. for military power. He said that, and that was a huge uh, thing that the Democrats and the media used against him, saying that he was against NATO, he was trying to ruin the NATO alliance, and this was all being done for Putin. Despite the fact Donald Trump armed Ukraine when Barack Obama and Joe Biden wouldn't, and it was actually those javelins that he armed them with, along with some other stuff, that was almost, it was instrumental in defending Kiev when uh, when Putin invaded. Uh, after Biden took office, you know, Putin always invades when when Biden's in the White House for some odd reason. But that never comes up. Um, and so what they ended up doing, they, they made fun of Trump. They said it was a big joke. Germany laughed at Trump when he gave the warning at the U.N. And yet what turned out? That's what it turned out to be. Uh, Germany was too reliant. The EU is too reliant on, on Russia for energy. 
which is why Russia's doing just fine now and those sanctions aren't really working because the EU and all these countries are now buying Russian oil, but just through India. OK, Russia sells it to India. India sells it to. And so they're they're buying oil. They're enriching the country that threatens them. OK, Trump warned about this. And th these people were so myopic and so wrapped up in their uh, mission to get Trump that they couldn't see it. And it continues there. Everything we're watching is just a continuation of that, of them trying to cover their cover their tracks and continue this uh, going. And the 2020 election, they the FBI knew that the Hunter Biden laptop was real. And yet the government again, coordinated again with the media and the Democrats and big tech, and they suppressed real news because they didn't want to hurt Joe Biden in the election. So they interfered in the election and again told themselves, hey, yeah, you know, we're doing all the things that we said were bad, but we're doing it for the right reasons. Like uh, Sam Stein, is that his name? Uh, uh, not Sam Stein, the intellectual guy. I can't think of his name all of a sudden. But what did he say? He, he said, oh, yes, there was a left wing conspiracy to stop Trump. But that was OK, because anything that Biden has done pales in comparison to what the threat that Trump brings. Trump represents a speeding uh, meteor coming towards the earth. And folks, I'm going to end on this. That's what makes these people dangerous, because they see themselves as these as these protectors of democracy, whatever that is, because it really just seems like. They want people thinking it means the Democrat Party in power and everybody else disappeared, I guess, somehow, one way or the other. And they could justify doing anything. I, we're seeing that now. The fact that the press isn't, I mean, we saw a little bit of pushback there at the end of the press conference. At the very end, they just threw it in there. At the end of a press conference on a Friday, okay, something's not right. Something is not right. There is a very real threat, an authoritarian push here by these people. Uh, they want to... One party ruled by the Democrats, they want to outlaw their opposition, and we're just seeing that all unfold. Uh, it, it, you can't believe anything you hear from these people. Everything that they do is in service of protecting the Democrats, protecting their power, protecting their agenda. Whoever, you know, the powers that be, whatever they want, that's what they're enforcing. All right, folks, I love you all. I really appreciate you watching me today. Uh, probably no video today because I just spent all my hey, nap time. Uh, doing this live stream, but I do thank you all for watching. I'll chop it up probably and do something with it, uh, but keep coming back.